Alright guys, um, I'm doing another homeschool help, um, and this is Guy Stuff, a body book for boys. So I have a growing boy, uh, I got this for him when he was in 5th grade, we stopped doing it because we needed to cover other things, Whew, excuse me, in regards to science, um, so we stopped and then we go ahead and we carry on with it, we carried on with it in the summer, um, but this, I needed something that would work in regards to health that wasn't too I don't know medical you know we have other health books and usual like public school health classes are a little bit kind of weird um, especially for like the younger the younger ages um, but this is perfect um, they do have I believe a girl version of this um, I only have a boy right now uh, baby two which is a girl's on the way um, but this I definitely would invest into. I think it was only like between $13 and $15. Um, but let's go ahead and dive in. This is definitely for the growing boy. Um, uh, pre puberty or even during puberty, this is it. So it's called Guy Stuff, the Body Book for Boys. So it has a Dear Reader. And these are the contents. So let's go ahead. Body basics, basic uh, facts, good habits, attitude. Um, it does touch up on the attitude. It does uh, touch on mental health slightly, but this is definitely more about the biology um, of a changing boy. So we have hair care, uh, hair scares, eyes, ears, mouth, braces, face, acne, sun scents. Um, underarms, stink, chest, shapes and sizes for belly zone, drinks, food, nutrition, vitamins, big changes. So we have hormones, pubic area, underwear, erection, shaving, voice, and moods. Um, and then we have, get going, uh, legs and height, feet, fitness, sport safety, rest, and sleep trouble. And then your inner you, your feelings, being a boy, uh, being a guy, and all of you. So this is pretty much it. It's very fun. It's not very boring. It's not very textbooky. I read it with my son. Um, I do the reading with my son. Um, you can have you or you know whoever your son feels comfortable the most with. Um, my son felt a bit more comfortable with me than he did with the stepdad. Um, but this is uh, pretty much the gist of it. Uh, we have basic facts. Now my son sometimes can be overwhelmed by a lot of reading, so we take turns. So it makes it a bit more fun. Um, and he gets to look at all these illustrations, which I, I think are pretty neat. So we have growing taller, sweating more, experiencing new emotions, seeing changes in your private parts, and a deeper voice. So we have all these fun things that come with puberty. Um, if you have a hard time talking about these things, um, or you want to learn how to break the ice, uh, I had to learn, and I was really desperately trying to find a way to do it, and this is the way. So, it, I mean, if you have your own way and it works, if it's broken, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like, if you're good, or if you want to just kind of change it up a bit, um, this is definitely the book to go with. So we have Good Habits. Uh, early Bloomers versus Late Bloomers. Uh, attitude. Hair Care and hair scares so talks about lice dandruff and greasy hair so this was a big awakening for my son who really didn't care much about his hair and he was a boy that you know he naturally developed the greasy hair so he had to wash it a certain way had to get certain shampoo um but this really helped him kind of understand like oh this is like a real thing um cleaning the ears eyesight Brushing teeth. How to care for braces. That was the previous one. You know, the face. Um, acne, what it is, why it happens. Taking care of your skin in the sun. Underarms. The stink. The stink places. This book is completely real. And poor dad has to smell. So, I really enjoy this book. My son enjoys this book. He actually looked forward to reading it all the time. I really have to give it up to all the illustrations. Um, they're just really fun. Let's go through this a bit more. 
I like flipping through all the pages because you just can't get this on Amazon. This I like because of this. My son just barely learned how to read nutrition facts and how to apply it to himself because we just did. So we're eating a little differently these past couple uh, months and so he's learning this as well. He's learning about portions, he's learning about ingredients um, and this is really helpful because we weren't taught that growing up so definitely getting better through the generations. Um, yeah, you know, vitamins. Oh, intro to testosterone. So this book is pretty, pretty, pretty bare. Um, if you are not comfortable with going through this process, you can look through the books and you can put stickers on them. Um, it even goes through getting kicked in the you-know-where. And then a closer to look to what his body is like. Um, I needed some way to break the ice, and so this was a great way to do it. It even goes down to underwear. We actually just switched um, from one to another. Oh my goodness, I never noticed. They even go over dog straps. Oh, this is cute. Really dirty underwear. So this is fun. Talks about what erections are, shaving, um, types of shaving. You know, obviously the voice changes. We all know what boys go through during puberty, um, their growth. Um, and so this is a great way, like I said, to break the ice. I'm just continuing to talk as I flip through this. Um, this is completely secular, um, so if you have homeschool funds, you can go ahead and buy it um, through your charter. Um, I would suggest really just buying it yourself. Uh, again, I really try to buy um, all of these types of things on our own because we will eventually use it again. Um, and so, yeah, this is Guy Stuff. It's by Dr. Kara Natterson. Um, I think she has another book for girls, I'm not too sure. But if you have a boy, if you have a growing boy, preteen, um, even pre-puberty, this is a great way to go ahead and walk them through like a health. So you can use this completely as a unit. Um, I like to do a 321, which I can link below. Or you can just Google 321 um, reading response and you know you can find so many of them, what they look like on the Google image search. Um, but it's basically three things that you learned, um, three things you found interesting, two things that you learned, and one question you still have. So we often do this with three, two, ones, just to kind of reflect on what we just read. That way we don't just read it and then, okay, I'm going to go outside and play or something. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you have any other um, supplementary reading that you have and for this, this type of reading in regards to health or just guy health in general, what do you use? Um, how do you go about it? Uh, there are a lot of parents like myself who is struggling to find how to talk about this. Um, and there's no shame in that. We all learn. Uh, it's the first time for everything. Um, but yeah, go ahead and comment it down below. And I will see you guys at the next homeschool help. Later.